so I don't know if you remember this, but when we did the preview show before you went out, your goal, you told us, was to just make the cut, which you comfortably did. Absolutely. And you told us specifically that last year at Pinehurst, the guy that finished second in the short stature shot yes. five over two <laughs> yeah. And then you went out there and you matched it. And you went out and matched dude, it. Dude, I, um, that's that's a great, a great memory because um, we, my dad and I were talking about that, right? And, and that almost, like, it didn't discourage me. And he would never let me be discouraged by that. But he was like, hey, like, these guys can play, right? And now, oh, yeah. it's, now it's like, dude, you just fucking beat the guy who shot five over. You shot five mm-hmm. over. And, and but dude, imagine in, in a few months from, or in a month from now, we would have heard about this. And we'd see the short stature player that shot nine under. You know, imagine how we'd felt yeah. at, at five over versus nine under. We'd be like, right. oh, yeah. not, not, not our thing. <laughs> this, is, this is not our thing. So yeah. to talk a little bit about Brendan Lawler, man, he's – so yeah. we, we ended up going out Wednesday night with, like, all the guys and all the girls and stuff, all like a bunch of players and stuff, and finally got to meet Kip, um, who, who kind of won it all there, and – it was um, mm-hmm. it was truly like a blessing, or you know, a blessing to be able to do that, right? And um, so Kip Kip looks at me and goes, "Did you play this weekend?" Like, yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> well, both those guys play on like the the EDGA Pro Tour, right? Yes, exactly. like they're the, technically the pros. They are. Yeah, they, yeah. they have pro status. Um, That's so Lawler, nasty, man, dude. I, I didn't, I didn't really know like how he'd take to me, right? Because I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. his competitor, right? Like I get it. Me t- this weekend though, like I was just kind of, I wanted to be friends with everyone. Just wanted to. It was the bucket hat. It's a, it's an too. international friendly sign. If you're wearing a bucket <laughs> hat, you are. I need peace. So, um, <laughs> and so, um, dude, he was he was so cool and. Um, Every everything I said, lovely, lovely, yeah, lo- yeah, lovely, lovely. So it's like, Love it. just just to like meet somebody like that, right? And 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 kind of yeah. see how um, different their lifestyles and stuff are, right? So um, <laughs> we we were talking with his caddy, um, Brendan's caddy, that is, and they were just talking about you know their hardship and their you know good times all week and stuff and so he goes um so brendan usually hits his driver carries it about 260 and um so we're on this hole and there's a bunker 240 and so and he and he's saying this all in an irish accent and he's like you know i he hits it and he hits it into the bunker and he's like bad read he's like well <laughs> nate i uh told you 240 and you hit it 240 and he looks over and he goes would you please shut the fuck up <laughs> and, and, and the guy goes the guy's like okay and he sits in the car and he's like okay so dude like just to just to get that if story I had, if i had <laughs> Dude, that, that, that was, was my exact reaction. A small stature. If I had a small stature player from a different country yell at me to say "shut the fuck up" in an accent, I would shit my pants laughing. Right so, there. dude, it's... I was dying at the bar when he told. He actually told my dad and I this, and he's like, oh. "So his name is Finton, right?" So in an Irish accent, he goes, "Finton." Yeah, dude. yeah. He's he's boys, dude. Oh. He's he's a great guy, great guy. And he goes, um. And he goes, so after I tell him that it was 240, and he hit it 240, he was a big fan of that, and he goes, Fenton, would you please shut the fuck up? <laughs> and, and Fenton goes, sure. <laughs> and he drives the cart. And, dude, just, just that story alone makes it all worth it. Because, oh, I, so I, dude, good. I was laughing all day next day about that. Good, because good. Because it was just, it was so funny to get that from, like, the, and I'm not making fun of their accent at all, right? I get it, right? No, 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 yeah, 100%. And it's literally just 
out of pure comedy. And he was being funny. And, and right. I found it <laughs> so funny. I've never, never, you know, encountered, you know, somebody with that strong of an Irish accent, literally from Ireland, right? So, yeah. dude, they're, they're just such great people, all of them. And Brendan was That's so good so cool. to me. So, like, respect for him, dude, because he could have easily been a dick to me. And, um, you know, so welcoming. And, you know, he, he's talking about how he wants to get me over there and play in some tournaments over there. And Dude, um, content building content, baby. Dude, absolutely. Absolutely. And it would truly be an honor to get out there someday and play. And we do? It'll be, it'll be. We great. have we have a burning question. We have a burning question that's been, that we've been waiting to ask. <clears throat> what about the active train, dude? Did you see it, dude? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, dude! It it literally makes it so like much of what it is, right? It's literally Sand Creek Station for a reason, dude. This poor guy I'm playing with. Right as he's about to chip, <clears throat> right, and the poor, <laughs> poor guy like like sculled it and it goes off the green. And wow, dude, like it, it, it's crazy because you could start to feel it, right? Because literally, some holes, dude, were right next to the railway. Like you, if you That's... hit your shot long, it's in the train tracks. So, um, can you hit while a train's coming? So like you, yeah. know, you could hit it and then just hit off and oh dude, that'd be so sick. Oh, well, if you hit off the train, there's a good chance it's not gonna bounce the way you want to. Yeah, but, but you could like try to dude perfect it, you know? <laughs> Fuck it. And if you got the balls to do that in a tournament, man, you, I I respect you. But <laughs> so you could you could start to feel it coming, right? And there was a lot of trains. Like it was it wasn't like a once a day thing. Like this was probably happened eight, nine, ten times around this train would come by. Wow. So, Holy shit. Yeah. No, dude. It's you probably literally hear it wherever like, you are in the course, too. Multiple, like, it's just... Yeah, absolutely. And and I think oh, there was shit. two different railways. There was one closer to, like, um, 12 and 13. And it might have been the same one, but it just kind of wrapped around. Um, but 12 mm. and 13 was, like, a, like, a train yard. So trains would, like, stop, Right. So it would just be screeching metal for like <laughs> yeah. a good thirty seconds, and you're standing you're over your ball up for like a birdie putt. And yeah, we actually, fuck? We, dude, we got put on the clock a few times, so like you couldn't, you couldn't wait. You had to hit the shot, right? Because there's an official with every fuck, group. Put, put it, the fucking ball, to you. dude. It's like <laughs> hit the fucking ball, mate. You know, like and um, <laughs> so literally, like you would start to be able to time the blows of the horn because um you could hear you you ever hear the sound of like um the things that come down to block yeah yeah right yeah. it's like ding, 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 ding. so you hear that right at, at, like the nearest one so you're like okay the train's getting close and so you'd kind of wait a second and it would blow <sighs> blow and then it would pass so you'd be good for like 15 seconds so then you'd want to hit, and then it would it'd blow again, but it wouldn't be as close, so it wasn't that big of a deal. But, dude, literally, like, at mid-round, you just, like, and just, That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> like, like your, your heart is already beating fast enough, and then you just feel the same core. So it literally I'm sure the members now. probably, like, the members probably know like when those trains come through and they like yeah. know like oh we're gonna well, hold up I, here a little bit. <laughs> to be honest with you, like we started to get in kind of like um like I said about the train horn blows and stuff, you would start to kinda figure it out after a few days and Yeah. And truly like it was it was part of the conditions, man. Like it was it was sick. Like, yeah. Um my mom and you know, my family loved watching it go by and stuff and um yeah it was it was pretty freaking sick man it was exactly as i feared it but it ended up not being as bad as i thought it was gonna be thanks for watching today's episode to see more of our content be sure to follow us on instagram tiktok and subscribe on youtube we can be found at basic bogeys on all platforms thanks we hope to see you on the next one